hello good morning all today in this session we are going to discuss regarding active thirst in Odoo. so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our Odoo 15 development tutorial so this active test will be working across all the Odoo versions like Odoo 14 13 12 and it's below so let's see what is active test and its use case in Odoo. so if i go to the patient details menu and here we have the master of patient and here you can see currently we have around 17 patients in my database so here you can see we have got around 17 data 17 patients in the database now take a case where we have to inactive the patient with name or arm methods so we can select a record click on action button and i can archive the record so if you click on archive okay the record will be getting disappeared from here and you can see the count has been decreased to 16. now if i need to get the inactive records i have to filter archived records so if i filter archived records you can see we have got around two records which is archived in the database that is or methods and the patient with name odoo b so if i remove the filter the Odoo by default will show only the active records in the database. So once we create this menu and we have in the corresponding action, if I click on edit action, I have specified this menu is linked with hospital.patient model without any domain. So it has to show all the records from this model that is hospital.patient, but by default, Odoo will show only active records in the database so if I go to the technical and to the playground so here we have a code execution place so if I write a code here like self.env and I'll search inside patient model hospital dot patient and I'll use search count or arm method search count of empty domain and if i execute this code you can see the result is coming as 16 which is the number of counts of active records in the database so if i duplicate this tab i'll duplicate this tab and let me archive one more patient that is fruits i'll click on action and i will archive these records so here you can see if i come to the tree view the count has been a decrease to 15 and if i execute the same code you can see the result is coming as 15 the number of active records in the database so there might be case where you have to ignore this testing of active records and to get all the records without considering whether it is active or inactive so in that case you can use active test in Odoo so just assume you don't need to do this test of active and you have to show all the records whether it is active true or active false if you need to get all the record what you have to do is that in the corresponding action so here we have menu and action and if you need to get all the records we have to pass in the context of that action you can pass active test equal to false so before doing from here let me do it from here so here you can see this method is returning 15 so before calling search count if in context i'll add with context active test active test equal to false so in context i'm saying we don't need to test that this method is active test so i'm saying it has to be false so a marker is passed with active test false dot search count if i execute that you can see the result is getting as 18 which is without considering whether it is active or not so if you are dealing it from the python side just you have to pass active test equal to false inside the context so here i can pass the context as with context and if you need to get here so currently the here also it is coming 15 so if you need to get all the records here click on debugger button edit action in the context you can pass same thing that is active underscore test colon value as false so here i am editing from the ui but you can apply the same from the code so click on save and if you refresh you can see the number of records has been increased to 18 
ODB is coming, OR methods, fruits, everything is coming. So this is the working of active test in Udo. So I have illustrated the thing from the UI, but the same can be applied from the code. In the menu action, you can add in while you are calling search method, you can call just pass wherever inside the context active test equal to false. So I hope you understood this video. If you have any doubts, feedbacks or suggestions, feel free to share directly under the video. So that's all for this video. If you have any doubts, feedbacks or suggestions, please share and support us by having a like, comment and share. So that's it for the day. Have a nice day. Thank you.